Hi folks, uh, we're back making another video. This is going to be a YouTube video. And this particular video we're going to make in segments. We have a lot of questions from a lot of people about the cutters that we use. Uh, and we've been doing this for so many years that we know in our mind what we're doing and what the cutters need to do. And so it just comes second nature to us because we've done it so much. Sometimes we forget that you guys haven't done it quite as much as we have, and that's why yeah, that's why you like these videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss each of our tools, uh, the router bits. When I say tools, I mean router bits. We're going to discuss each one of them, what they do, what we use them for, the depth that we use them, uh, and how they're used. We're going to try to make this video segments, we're going to try to make them as complete as possible and try to answer a lot of the questions that we get. So what we're going to do is just take them one at a time and you'll see them as the video progresses, you'll see them one at a time. And we're going to start off with the chamfer bit. Okay, now this is a chamfer bit. This is a 45 degree two flute carbide chamfer bit with a half inch bearing on the bottom. Now this is what we use for what we call a scallop. And once, they, once we get away from this close-up on here, then I'm going to show you some of the signs that we do with this and how we set it and the depth that we set it to when we're using it for scalloping. Now, that's not to say chamfering, but we're, I'll show you chamfering as well. But the scallop is the little divots that we make around the edge of the board. So I'll show you that uh, as, soon as, we get, as soon as we get done with this particular segment. Okay, this is just a general idea of what a sign is with a scallop. Now, a scallop it simply means these little dips that are all the way around, and we do that with this chamfer bit that we're showing you right now. And once the, uh, once the scallop is done on one side, we do the chamfer on the back side, and I'm going to show you that on a smaller board. I'm also going to show you how we set the depth on it so that we know that we're getting it right. I just wanted to show you this sign as, as a by the way, uh, if you're wondering what signs to make and how to sell signs, you probably have a hundred businesses within 20 miles of you that need open and closed signs. And this one says open on one side, the other side says closed. I'm not going to bother to show you that, I just wanted to mention that to you. So now we'll go back into the close-up mode and show you a little bit more about that bit. Okay, now here's a... This will kind of give you a, a better example of the scallops. Even though we show this scalloping operation uh, on our videos, uh, our sign carving videos, we show this scalloping operation. But sometimes, if I just show you something like this, you'll get a better idea of exactly what the scallops are and how they're done. So I just I wanted you to see this as part of this video, so that when we're talking about scallops, you know what we're talking about. Okay, now here's. Here's that 45 degree chamfer bit, and when we set that to do the scallop that you just saw, we'll set it so that the flute comes clear down to the top of the, this being the bottom of the board, the flute will come clear down to where it cuts almost into it. Now you'll notice, just by looking at this, that if this were flat on a table, that this this screw on the bottom of the bearing would be digging into the table. Uh, so we have a cure for that. We have two or three ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one that I recommend on, on one that we just discovered not too long ago. So, and it's called table cookies, and they're made by Rockler, and I'll show you what they are. We don't sell them, but uh, you can go on Rockler's uh, website and buy them, so I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, folks. Now, this is when I mentioned the, uh, the uh, bench cookies. This is what they are. And uh, it'll say right on them, bench cookie, and they're made by Rockler. And here's what we do with them, is we put our board on the bench cookies, like so, and we'll have three edges of the board sticking over the bench cookies. And then that 45 degree chamfer bit in our router we can just come down the board and do what we need to do, just about one inch spacing on it, just like you see us do it on the video. But this is a way that you can set your board up so that your router bit, once it's set down to cut, 
it won't cut into the table. You got plenty of clearance underneath here. And these things are made so that you, if you have your router down on the board and you're doing your, your scalloping like this, this thing won't move. You have to be a little careful and it takes a little practice, but it's not difficult at all. And that's, that's basically what this 45 degree chamfer bit is. And that's how to use it. Uh, with a little practice, you can do it exactly the same way we do. And I know when I do it on the video, I make it look kind of easy, but I've done thousands of them. And by the time you've done, you know, uh, maybe a hundred of them, you'll be just as good at that as, as I am. So just uh, just keep practicing at it. And, and uh, now we'll move on to another router bit. Okay, I said I was going to move on to a, another router bit, which we are. But the, uh, the other router bit's going to have to be on a different video. Uh, we're running short of time on this. We know that we're going to reach a cutoff point before we get all the information in that we need uh, on the rest of the router bits. So we're going to end this one. But by ending it, I'm going to talk a little bit about our, our, the way we revamped our website. Uh, great info for you and great info for you too. Both of those websites are revamped. We now have a link on them where uh, you can go on and sign up for Dave Signs Video Club. And anybody that signs up on the Video Club, there's no charge, but they will become preferred members. We have a video on there, a free video on there already that uh, you'll see just by signing up that is not available on YouTube. So, and from time to time, we will make certain videos available to premium members, that is members of our club, that we won't post on YouTube. It, it might be that we'll make one that YouTube uh, won't allow us to make because it'll be too long. Any number of reasons, and there might be some things that we want to we want to teach our premium members that uh, we don't want to make readily available just as a public video. So uh, go to either one of those uh, websites, uh, www. Great info for you, or great info for you too. Either one of them will have a link on there where you just click on the link and sign up for our Dave Science Video Club. Uh, that's about all there is to it. We'll see you later.